Hi, I'm Lorna from wearablyweird.com and in this video I'll be showing you four cool ways to lace converse. Ladder lace, lattice lace, lightning lace and sawtooth lace. I'll be including the timestamps for each in the video description for you. Ladder lacing or military lacing as it's also known is a great lacing technique as it stops your converse coming loose and looks really cool, especially on the sides. So my first tip for you is to take a pair of socks and push them down underneath the sneaker tongue. So it creates a nice even tongue. So when you lace your ladder laces on, they'll turn out nice and even. Then you wanna take your laces and begin the first lacing step by pushing them through the two bottom eyelets from underneath as I'm doing here. Make sure there's no creases and pull them up to make sure that they're nice and even as well. Then pop this lace out the way and take this guy here. Feed it up through the second eyelet on this side. To create our first little ladder step, take it over, push it through the second eyelet on this side and pull it nice and straight looking. Then take this lace and bring it up through the second eyelet on this side as I'm doing here, over the top of the lace we've just put through. Pull it through and make sure that ladder is nice and crisp. And then you wanna feed this lace through the second eyelet on this side. And as you can see, we have our first ladder. You can neaten that up a little bit. Then repeat this by going up through the next eyelet up with this lace. Making sure it's nice and crisp. Bring it over and into the next eyelet up on this side. Same again with this lace through the same eyelet over the top of the first lace. And through and into the eyelet on this side. And then you want to repeat those steps all the way up the sneaker. Quick message before we continue, if you're looking to try some different awesome ways to lace your converse, I have a huge blog post linked in the description for you where I'll cover these nine lacing techniques. So if you like the look of any of those, make sure to check it out. Then once you get to the top and you're just doing your final step like I am here, just pull it through as you've been doing all the way along making sure it's really neat. With the top here, what tends to happen is the ladder will get a little bit smaller as there's less resistance under the sneaker tongue. So just make sure that doesn't happen and you're pulling it and making sure it looks even with the others. And there you have it. All of your ladder laces are complete. They should look really cool on the sides and from the front. And what you wanna do at this stage is just make sure they all sit really nicely on top of each other like this. And then you can go ahead and knot your laces as usual. For this, I'm just gonna tuck them behind here so you can see the full effect. Bring in the one I did earlier. And there you are, you should have some really cool looking ladder laced converse. Lattice lacing is a great way to elevate your Converse game. It looks impressive, but it's actually super simple. So the first thing I always suggest to do is to take a pair of socks, put it down underneath the sneaker tongue to create a little bit of resistance there so your pattern turns out nice and neat, not big at the bottom and small at the top. Then you wanna take your lace. Then pop this lace out of the way, take this lace and we're gonna bring it over into the fourth eyelet up on this side, so this one. So make sure you count your four. Take it over and down into the eyelet. Like this, making sure it turns out nice and crisp looking. Then you wanna take the same lace and feed it into the next eyelet up on this side. Like so. And then bring it back over again and into the second eyelet on this side. 
make sure it doesn't fold over and it looks nice and straight. Then take the same guy up into the next eyelet on this side, bring it back over. And this time we're going to go up from underneath into the eyelet here. Make sure it's nice and neat. And then we're going to pop this lace out of the way for the moment. Now we're going to take this lace and take it underneath the second one here to create our first weave that's going over, under, over. And we're gonna take it into the fourth eyelet on this side. Making sure it looks really nice. Now with the same lace, we're gonna take it into the next eyelet up on this side. And then we're gonna weave it this time underneath this one, over this guy, and then underneath this one. Pull it all the way through and you can really see that our lattice pattern is starting. Then we want to take it down into this eyelet here. Make sure it looks nice and flat. And then bring him up into this empty eyelet on this side, so it should be the third one up. And then we want to take it this time we're going to go over, under this one, and then over this one that's come a little bit loose, let me pull him tight, over him, and then up underneath into this eyelet here. And as you can see, we've created our really cool lattice pattern, so it should be that cool diamond shape there. And at this point you can knot your converse and see how they look. I like to leave quite big laces when I do the star because I think it looks awesome. Then I'm going to bring in the one I did earlier. As you can see, this one needs tightening up a little bit. But there you have it, two lattice laced converse that look really awesome. Lightening lacing your converse is so easy to do and it gives them a fresh and unusual look. So the first thing I always suggest to do is to take a pair of socks, put it down underneath the sneaker tongue to create a little bit of resistance there so your pattern turns out nice and neat, not big at the bottom and small at the top. Then you want to take your lace, find the midpoint between it, and then you want to feed both ends into these two bottom eyelets here. And pull them all the way through. Make sure that loop isn't folded and it's nice and crisp. And then you want to take this lace that's fed into the bottom eyelet and pull it so it's about a third of the length of the whole lace, if that makes sense. Then you want to take it all the way over and down into the top eyelet on this side here. And that is going to create our little lightning strike. Then take this lace, just tuck it behind the sneaker collar for now to keep it out of the way. Then take this lace, bring it down, over and into this first bottom eyelet on this side. Pull it all the way through, make sure there's no folds. Then you want to bring it up into the second eyelet on this side, like this. Bring it back over into the next eyelet up on this side. And you can see we're starting to create our little cross laces now. Then again, bring it into the eyelet up on this side, back over, and we're going to be following this pattern all the way up the shoe. Making sure there's no creases as always. And as you're going along, you want to make sure the little lines on this side are all nice and even looking. Again, Take it up into the next eyelet up, bring it over, down into the one on this side. Then when you reach this eyelet here, pull it through, make sure everything's looking nice and even. Bring it over, down into the top eyelet here our last 
cross lace there. And then at this point you can bring your two laces up and knot them. But for this I'm just going to tuck it, tuck it behind so you can see the awesome pattern there. Take your time to adjust and make sure that that lightning stripe looks really straight. And bring in the one you did earlier. And as you can see, you have two lightning laced converse that look really cool. Sawtooth lacing looks awesome in my opinion, and it's relatively quick to do, despite looking a little bit complicated. My first tip is to take a pair of socks, put it down underneath the sneaker collar to create a nice little bit of resistance for us to do our pattern on top. And then you want to take your lace and bring it down into each bottom eyelet like this. Making sure there are no folds or creases like that and the lace looks nice and crisp. Then make sure both laces are the same length. Take your time with this. We definitely want to make sure they're the same length. And once your laces are even, we want to take this lace, bring it over and up into the third eyelet on this side. So make sure you're counting the three up. Make sure it looks nice and straight and crisp. Then take this lace, bring it underneath and up into the second eyelet on this side, like so. Then you want to bring it over and down into this eyelet here. And as you can see, we've created our first sawtooth pattern there. Then you want to bring this lace over and into the eyelet on this side here to create another bar. And then this one, we want to make sure it's going underneath and into this eyelet here. Like that. Then take this one, create the next sawtooth pattern with it sure it's nice and flat bring this one over and into here to create another bar making sure there's a nice even spread between all of the laces and it's looking nice and crisp bring this one over and up into here making sure it's flat as always then bring this one back over to create the bar over it and we want to bring it up and into the top eyelet here making sure it's looking all even and good then bring this one over here and there's a little extra step at the end here we want to take this one up and underneath into the top eyelet here so it's hidden there so that the effect is kept then take a minute to just adjust everything and make sure it's looking good. And then you can lace your two laces here, but I like to just tuck them behind here so you can get the full effect of the lacing look for the moment until they're ready to wear. Then bring in the one you did earlier. And as you can see, you have two saw laced canvas. 